So welcome to Chili Willie's cooking class number four. I'm Ron Smith and I'm here today to show you some of our building block and essential recipes that we use for some of the dishes at Chili Willie's. Today is going to be about guacamole. We use guacamole in a lot of different dishes at Chili Willie's. We put it on tostadas, we put it on taco salads, we use it on our Cadillac nachos, and it was a very popular dip to have just by itself with chips. So it's, uh, in my view, it's a really important part of the Tex-Mex culinary building block. So we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about some other recipes, how to make guacamole. We'll show you how to pick avocados and how to ripen avocados and then we'll give you a little bit of history about guacamole which is really about a 500 year old recipe and how it evolved into the Tex-Mex culinary scene. First though I want to give you some exciting news of some things that we've been working on. Many of you people that have responded to on YouTube, on our Facebook page or our website have been asking for hey, can we ever get some vintage Chili Willies t-shirts? Well, we didn't really have them available, so we started working on it. So I'm happy to tell you that today we have new vintage Chili Willies t-shirts available. We have it on a site, a store that you can go to. You can pick out the color of the shirt. You can see how the logo design looks on that color shirt and you can order it right from that store to be delivered to your home. We're actually using Glenn Sporting Goods here in Huntington, so a local business doing our, uh, our t-shirts as they did some 15 years ago. And uh, if you don't want it shipped to your house, you can actually go to Glenn's and pick it up. So, hope you enjoy the possibility. It's a really high quality shirt. 65% cotton, 35% polyester, has a little stretch to it, fits great, and is really soft. So, great shirt with our logo on it. Hope you enjoy it. All right, let's talk about uh, the beginnings of guacamole. Uh, as I said, this is like a 500-year-old recipe. Uh, the, the words come from the Nahuatl language of the Aztecs in which aguacate was the uh, word for avocado and moli was the word for concoction or mixture. So, you know, the Spanish threw this together and it came out as guacamole. It's not really a mole as you would think about moles in Mexico, particularly in Oaxaca or Puebla. It is more a concoction using fresh ingredients. The uh, Aztec actually made uh, their mixture guacamole uh, of avocado and herbs. Uh, as the new world, old world um, cuisines came together, we see the addition of onions, garlic, uh, limes uh, into citrus fruits into the new world, and of course the chilies, uh, tomatoes, uh, chocolate all came from the uh, New World. So this was kind of a guacamole is kind of amalgamation and combining of two cultures. Uh, you know, it's once it hit the Tex-Mex culinary scene, anything goes with it. So we're going to go through some recipes in, here in just a moment to show you uh, how Chili Willie's recipe was developed. And then later on, we're going to show you some of the imagination recipes for Tex-Mex. So let's talk about how to select an avocado. Uh, I have been ripening these avocados in a brown paper bag here. And that helps by trapping the ethylene gas in this bag as the uh, avocado ripens. And that ethylene gas speeds up that process. It was probably five days ago that I bought the avocados when they were really solid and bright bright green. Here's one like this. You can see it's a bright green color on the outside, but it's also solid in its feel. So we know that it needs to be ripened. So what we've done here, put these avocados in the bag. Now then, notice this. See the difference in the color? As the avocado ripens, the outside skin darkens. 
So that's a good indication that we have a well-ripened avocado. The other thing is that you want to feel on the bottom here, just it has kind of starts to feel soft right there. Try not to squeeze too, too much on the other sides because you'll bruise the avocado and it will blacken there. So test it on the bottom just like that. Feels good, okay. Yep, now then, see this little piece right here? This is part of the stem. One thing that you can do is to pull that off and notice the color right here from where that stem came out. It's a nice bright green, that's what we want. We don't want a darkened spot there indicating that maybe it was bruised or maybe it's over ripened. And here's a case of an avocado that you don't want to purchase in the grocery store. See how it's kind of lumpy here? It's actually, the skin is starting to pull away from the flesh, so it has kind of like a bubble there. It's very soft, and if we were looking here, we would see that it's probably blackened right in there and not that bright green. This is not an avocado that you want to purchase at the grocery store. Guacamole is really an integral part of Tex-Mex cuisine. As I said at Chili Willie's, we put it on a lot of things and it was also sold as a dip. So the first recipe that we're going to start with will be the original Chili Willie's recipe. But in Tex-Mex cooking, the things that you really want in guacamole is of course the avocado and ripen properly. You need to have chilies jalapenos, serranos, you need to have onions and garlic in it, you need to have cilantro, fresh cilantro just like this, you need to have lime, limes add the acidic value to it and that citrus flavor that you want, you need to have some salt and you need to have a little bit of spice, after that you can add any number of things to the guacamole and we'll do that a little bit later. So let's start first with uh, opening up the avocado itself. If you've got good knife skills, it's really easy to do. You simply go down like this, fold it around, and there we go. You take the seed out by hitting it, turning it, and out it comes. All right, the way to get the pulp out of the avocado is to take a spoon, kind of get out the, the, the flesh. As you can see, there's no black parts here onto the avocado, so that's a good sign. We're gonna have a nice fresh flavored guacamole. It's soft. You don't have a great buttery flavor to it. The recipe calls for five ripe Haas variety avocados. When I say Haas variety, you see how it's kind of a nubby skinned uh, avocado. There are some other varieties of avocado. One is called the fu Fuete, and it is a smooth skinned avocado. It's usually a little larger than the Haas variety. Uh, they're not ideal to make uh, guacamole with. They're a little stringy and uh, they don't have that buttery grape flavor that the Haas variety has. And that is why that in today, almost all varieties that are sold in grocery stores are the Haas variety. So get all these out. Now then, texture. Some folks like to have a really chunky texture. Other folks like to have a smooth texture to their avocados. I'm kind of in between. So what I like to do is kind of take my spoon, break it up into pieces, and start to create a mash, if you will, of avocado. Then, as we add other ingredients and we stir, this will, we want it 
starting to mash up. You know, I'm using a spoon here to try and um, uh, break up the avocado, but the mocajete here, which is this volcanic rock bowl, it also has a pestle, a tilote, and it's great for using to kind of mash your avocado, just like this. They do this in Mexico, and it makes a nice texture to it as well. So you can see, we get a better mash out of it that way. Okay, so there's our mash right here for, and the nice green color that we have. There's still some chunks in here, that's what I like. And our ingredients. So we'll start with some diced red onion. We used tomato, diced tomato. And honestly, in the very beginning, we even used whole peeled tomatoes and we would crush those up and add to it. We have a little bit of garlic. We have our chilies. Now, the original Chili Willie's recipe had not only fresh diced jalapenos, it also had pickled jalapenos. So we're gonna add our chilies to it. And here was the surprising ingredient, this right here. When I was first, you know, concocting our recipes at Chili Willie's, I was experimenting with different things. It was summertime and I added minced cucumber. And with the avocado, it really gave a nice fresh flavor to it. So that was in the original recipe was diced minced cucumber. Okay, we also add cumin, real Tex-Mex ingredient there. So cumin is, in my view, really necessary. We need to add lime. And one thing that you wanna do with a lime is to roll it like this. One, you're breaking up the juice in there and you're also breaking up and releasing the oils that are in the avocado, or in the, the lime. So we've rolled it. Squeeze our fresh lime in there. The other thing that we want to add is some fresh cilantro. Now then, let's stir our guacamole up. Now, all those ingredients are coming together. To a really beautiful, colorful dish. The last thing we wanna add is a little bit of salt. Adding some kosher salt here. And of course, we want to taste. The avocados are perfect. Great flavor. Getting a little bit of heat there from the chilies. Got a nice colorful looking guacamole here. And it's got great flavor. You can then add some more salt if you like. If you like more citrus juice, you can add a little more citrus juice to it. But this is a great looking and the original recipe for guacamole at Chili Willie's. Now then, one thing that people ask, as, as 
guacamole sits, it will darken. So how do you stop that? Uh, the best way is, of course, getting the proper ripened avocado because they don't darken as quick if you have it at that perfect ripe state. When you get them like this, they'll darken very quickly, within the hour even. The other thing that you can do, they darken because of oxidation. So you can take some film, some plastic wrap, whether it be Glad wrap, and press it down onto the surface of the guacamole and kind of press that air out of it. And if you're not going to use it immediately, then that's the best way to store it in the refrigerator. So the other thing is lime juice helps as well. The acid in the lime helps to slow that oxidation process down. We really shouldn't have much problem with this guacamole because it, the avocados were so fresh and nice that uh, it will not darken very quickly. But guacamole is best consumed just after you make it at home. So, And I know that people uh, at, at our house, when we make guacamole, they're looking for a chip to be able to start dipping. All right, so we've seen how the original Chili Willie's recipe was for our guacamole. Over the years, though, my take on guacamole has kind of changed. I'm a little more simplified with it. I love the fresh flavor of the avocado, and I want it to be the leading agent in there. So I've kind of scaled things back, if you will. Uh, I love red onion uh, in the guacamole I make now. I love diced fresh jalapenos in it. Uh, I love fresh cilantro chopped up in it because I think that's a real important component. I know that garlic needs to be also a component in it. And cumin. Cumin being that Tex-Mex spice that we really love the flavor of and that needs to be in the guacamole. Then, a little bit of lime, fresh lime juice. And a little bit of salt. And then we want to taste just to see whether we have enough citrus in it and whether we have enough salt. Just right. So it may not be as colorful as the guacamole of the original Chili Willie's recipe, but I think the simplified flavors for it are really good and it uh, accents the avocado is the main player in this. But I also said that in Tex-Mex cuisine, anything goes. I discovered a recipe from Cal uh, Kalamazoo Grill Company, and their chef had come up with a really interesting recipe. He called it a tailgate uh, guacamole. And his take on it was to have, of course, they're a grill company, so he had grilled vegetables in it. So he added grilled onion, fire grilled onion, fire grilled corn, and then little cherry tomatoes added into it. So as you can see, it makes a really colorful, great looking guacamole. And here's the last part that was really surprising. Chicharrones, fried pork skins. It gave it some crunch. Gave it a nice little pork flavor. and a real surprise to the guacamole. 
You know, some other things that you could add to this would be diced uh, fr uh, cooked bacon would be a good addition to this. But next time you think about a tailgate, think about maybe this recipe, which is really colorful, surprising flavors, and tastes really good. Oh my, that is good. And the surprise are the chicharrones in there. So, that's kind of our take on guacamole. In the future, as we try and do some other dishes, we'll show you how to make super burritos. Guacamole goes on top of that. Show you how we made our chimichangas, which guacamole was on top of that. And at some point, we'll also do Cadillac nachos, and that will show you the layers but of flavor that we built the Cadillac nachos with but that guacamole was a very important part of it. But before we go, one last thing. Join us online to find out about our new apparel that you can order for Chili Willies, t-shirts, and in the future, we're gonna try and do some other vintage Chili Willies shirts that will be available. So we're really excited about this and hope you are too. All the people that had asked for it, here you go. So, for right now, this is episode number four. Uh, I'm Ron Smith, and hope you enjoyed this, and good cooking.